Hello, welcome to our newest buy at 2014 East Main Street here in Madison, Wisconsin. We bought this house for $155,000. We got about a $100,000 budget on it and we expect to sell it between 380 and 400. Um, so some of the guys are cleaning it out right now and I am gonna show you inside. Come on in. So first up is the front porch. As you can see, there's some renovation needed here. We're gonna get it cleaned out, paint, paint the ceilings, paint the walls, try to bring it back to life, really make it pop. There's screened in porch. Hopefully we keep it as a screened in porch, but who knows? So let me bring you guys in the front door. First off, look at this door. Isn't it beautiful? Now, personally, I don't know much about doors, but Michelle Corolla <laughs> so graciously pointed this out. She said it is absolutely beautiful, and I trust her with my life. We have to keep it. We have to keep it. We have a ton to do in here. You see, we have a grand staircase. The first thing that I see personally is the drywall. We have some mudding and taping and painting to do around the house. It doesn't look like much now, but just wait. It is gonna be so beautiful. And the next thing that I see are the floors. Right? If we can, we really want to save these floors because they're original. It's really hard to get hardwood floors. So they're really expensive. So hopefully we can sand all this out and refinish it. I think we're going to be able to save them, but who knows? Follow me through to the kitchen here. We see some trim pieces are needed. Now, apparently all the trim pieces are out in the garage. We shall see about that. I know that the kitchen is a little dark, but just wait till we get done with it. It is gonna be the bright spot of the house, I promise. What we'll are you gonna do in here, you think? You know, there's no cabinets. I think something big that we're gonna have to do is cabinets. We're gonna get rid of all of the appliances, add new appliances. I know at houses before, we've taken out walls, I think, to expand the kitchen. I don't think we're gonna do that with this kitchen. It's really expensive. Um, but it's so still a we'll full see. gut. Yeah, it's definitely a full gut. Uh, we'll be getting new countertops, maybe rearranging where this is. I'm not totally sure yet. We'll let Matt work some of that out. You see, we need some trim here. Here's our back porch. Now this is a really cool feature and honestly, it's kind of rare in these houses. Um, there still needs to be a lot done in here, but it is a batch back porch. We can use it for a pantry. They were using it as some sort of mud room, which will be nice. Um, and if you want, you can just take a quick look outside. I'll just have Michelle peek oh, there out go. there. Oh yeah. Just to see what we're dealing with around here. We're gonna need a porch. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna need a porch. In my mind, we build a walkway up to here so when people come from their garage, they have a place to walk directly. Yes, that's a great idea. Into the mudroom, enter into the kitchen, rebuild it. Try to make it as homey as possible. So let's go upstairs now. And I forgot to tell you about this room. So this is our living room and it leads into our dining room. This bed is, this house is a three bed, two bath. Two full baths is really rare in this neighborhood. Um, we're in like the Atwood, Emerson kind of neighborhood here. So as you can see, like the whole house, a lot of work to do. I'm really excited for all this stuff to be out of here so we can really see what kind of work there is to do in here. Um, there's some obvious stuff, but like, I don't know if we can refinish all of these floors. We'll just have to wait and see. We have some trim pieces that are needed around here. Here is our first full bathroom. Let's see if I can get a light in here. Sorry. Let's see here. Great original doors though. There's some more out in the garage. So not exactly sure what we're gonna do to renovate this bathroom. You're gonna gut it. We're gonna gut it, but there's two ways we can do this. We can do this really expensive and try to go for the highest dollar, or we can do it not so expensive and just try to capture more buyers. It'll depend on our profit margin and how much time we want to spend on the property. Sometimes less is more, so we'll see. All right, follow me upstairs. Yeah, it really can be a beautiful place. If it was up to me, we'd try to open this stuff up. I mean, I just love the open concept. I think that's really what's in these days, but sometimes it just can't be done. So we're headed upstairs now. Beautiful staircase. It's just really hard to get something like this these days. Oh like, yeah. It'd be so expensive to do. And it's the character of the house. Yeah, absolutely. So we lead up to our first room. Okay. Here's our first room. And one thing I really want to point out is you have huge closets. Oh, that's great. Yeah, they're big, nice walk Especially for this era of home. Do you know what year this house was built? No, I don't. 
I'm guessing turn of the century. I think 19s, mm -hmm. 1901 to 1910, yeah. something like that. Something in that direction. Awesome. So you can see through here, I don't know, I'm thinking just a, a painting and obviously a floor reno, but not otherwise not too much to do. Some trim pieces are missing. That's a theme throughout the house. Hopefully they have most of this original trim. And oh yeah, and that's board. amazing. Yeah. And hopefully there's wood. Of course there's wood under here if it's just salvageable. Yeah, we'll see. It's always a mystery what's on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so you can come this way to our second room. This is our second room here. I'm a proprietor of pink. I think we'll keep this. <laughs> Just kidding. My office is pink. <laughs> oh yeah? No, I can see that. Yeah, uh, right. Okay, but still a good size room. Yeah, totally. Yeah, you absolutely. Can come through to our second bathroom here. Let you go in. Not quite enough space in there for everybody right now, but nice right. full shower. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really nice. This is gonna be great once it's done. And then here is our third and final room. Um, and this room is deceivingly big. Big. Oh you wow, can see, it is. Yeah. I mean, it was used for storage, but I mean, to me, this is the master bed. Oh, yeah. It has a porch right off of here. We can sit and enjoy it. It has another nook. Oh yeah, this is great. As long as there's a closet, you can just build a closet out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, look um, at that original beadboard at the top on the ceiling. You can see if you turn. Yeah, this is great, okay. There's this little nook back here. Oh and yeah. You can turn into a closet. Oh, easy. Oh, yeah. that'd be a great closet. So, I mean, I love this room. Good job, yeah. So we will see what happens here. Do you want to go walk around the outside? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay, let's All do right. it. So this is the backyard. As you can see, there's a really nice two-car garage. You really don't get that much, a two-car garage in this neighborhood. All right. Um, my eye first goes to this backyard. Like I said, you have a two-car garage, you want to come in your house directly from the two-car garage. So we got a lot of landscaping and build-out to do to make this comfortable for the next homeowner. Um, and how far back does the yard go? I don't know how big the lot is, but you can see, Let's see back here see. there's a fence line. I assume it's 0.15. Oh yeah, that's a good size. Point, yeah, around 0.15 or 0.2 of an acre, it's somewhere in there. We honestly don't get a lot of information on these because the person that we bought it from bought it so long ago, it was never listed online. So we have to do some surveys to really find out how big they are. Yeah, good point. Um, so you can see this was, this is the garage. Obviously there was a ton of stuff in here. We're cleaning it out now. Here's a lot of trim from the house. A lot of the original trim was stored up here. Hmm. So hopefully that's salvageable. So this is a two car garage, but one thing we kind of have going against us is there's a support in the middle of the garage. Oh yeah. Um, so I don't really know but what another to do car about could this. fit over there. If you took out the workbenches and things, maybe another car could fit over there. And go along this way. We're kind of thinking that. Yeah. Um, I think it would be more valuable to park two cars versus having a workbench like this because that's huge. We'll see. Right? I don't know. It depends who buys it. Yeah. Right? A guy that wants to uh, like. Even just, I mean, a two family, somebody could just park here and if somebody wants to work out in a yeah. workshop in the garage, that's also really rare. Good point. Um, so I don't know. We're gonna have to let the big boss make that call. <laughs> yeah, you can see the fence line. That's a, that's a great yard. Yeah, it's a really good sized yard. As you can see, we got some work to do around the garage. Yeah. Coming off just a little bit. That's um, all right. But that's the house for now. Okay. So we have tons of planning to do. Hopefully we'll bring you in on our next Thursday meeting and you can see kind of what our true plan is. You'll meet Matt McGrady if you haven't before. He's really good. John Schneider if you haven't. And we'll come up with a really solid plan for what we're going to do for this place. So thank you for coming to our first watch. This is Living a Midwest Life. Follow, subscribe for more if you want to see this face. See you next time.